I wake up every morning to the sound of motors roaring, they're drowning out the voices in my head. At night while I am sleeping, I can hear the angels speaking, but I can't recall a single thing they said. I see the lips move clearly, I feel the presence in me by the they try to tell me it's just a boo crash. I push, I stray, I wrestle with my brain and then a voice from somewhere whispers to relax. She is my favorite mistress, yes, she knows my body like no other cat. My flesh and spirit keep colliding when her fingers are inside me. Oh my God, oh my God, lady, I'm your man. Fever, flu, malaria, come to me that. Spare me, I go so to spend another night under attack. I wretch, I shake, I cry until I break. Then I fizzling release, and I relax. same album and they both are on the guitar so I thought I'd maybe play another song for that same album on the guitar. Practical. <laughs> 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 Just, you know, to make this as homogenous as possible. <laughs> so this song, it's got a, a problem. It's got this really stupid happy melody. <laughs> Ba-da-dee-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
etc. Yeah, so I always feel stupid singing that. <laughs> Which is why I was hoping that maybe I could convince all of you to sing it instead. <laughs> See how I have grown. I am the fruit of seed you've sown. When I saw my reflection, and I lost my erection. It was hard to see that face. He said, "Welcome home, brother." Lift up your ears and turn around I think I can hear a sound The tune is sweet, the rhythm is strong A music that could bring us all Together again One night I left my lady's side Felt some change within the tide Pulled a blanket over me, sent my little boat to sea where I could feel the waves come, I could find the rhythm, the ocean won't let you forget. Remembering a song. <laughs> We've left our lovers away, and we spent our juices masturbating. Now I think it's time we start building something with a heart. The air is growing thick with tones that just might bring these scattered bones together again. Morning, we woke up to find the chasm had become so wide between us and our fathers. While we slept, the space grew large, and I could feel the shadow. I could hear the echo of a song I know I used to sing, and I'm starting to remember. of a forgotten king who longs to hear his people sing.
Distorting? Yeah. It is? Oh well. song and you'll suddenly have this feeling, this impulse, this little voice that says, I'm pretty sure he's about to say the title of the song, <laughs> Dance While the Sky Crashes Down. If at these moments you trust that little conviction and you open your mouths and you say loudly and confidently, Dance, Dance While the Sky Crashes Down! down. And if you are actually correct, <laughs> then it's a sound. Leprosy and acid. The saints were taken out and shot. When someone proffers you a pair, you sink your teeth in. On a wet that just beneath the skin lies pestilence and rot. Thank you. 
of skeletons is playing. Don't act like you don't know the tune. Your part is echoed in the path of every deadly flowing past against the counterpoint of black. Off the moon, there's a banquet at the table. Exotic cheeses, wines, and cakes. And every one of us is damned until we stop to understand. They're living is to gorge ourselves. sound very good. <laughs> Without a massive orchestra. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, how many of you in here have seen me at some point in the last two years? So, a lot of you. Okay, just it's a demographic. How many of you have not? Some of you. The farther away people. Um, <laughs> so I just, I asked this just so I can serve you better, and so I can know how much of the same old shit I should, can get away with. <laughs> so anyway, um, this song needs a giant orchestra, and I was hoping you guys for the next few moments might be a mighty orchestra. <laughs> be kind of there-ish. Just make a decision all the way back. Decide something. Sir, you're not quite deciding strongly enough. <laughs> Decide. Okay, there we go. Now, on this side of the room, we have the mighty trombone! <laughs> those, those, usually trombones, okay, you guys are usually more in your enthusiasm. Let's try that. Here we have the trombone! <laughs> And over here we have the violin! And it's just like in nature, people. You are mortal enemies. <laughs> so actually, let's just take half a second to kind of, you know, familiarize ourselves. Glare across the room in your nemesi. Shake your fists. Yell hateful things. All right. Now, <laughs> so violins, your part in the song, actually, you know, never mind. Don't leave it so much of the song. Your part in the war <laughs> goes like this. One, two, three, and. That's good. If you're worried you can't sing that high, don't, don't, it's okay. You can do it. <laughs> So let's try that again. One, two, three, and... That's really good, except remember, your voice is your weapon and you're trying to inflict damage upon your opponent. So when you sing that, I want you to stare at a trombone. Pick one, stare them down, and visualize a big, sharp, pointy thing, you know? And, and as you sing each note, try to put a little... Let's try that again. 
Trombones are slightly winning, but one, two, violins. That's gonna be close. The violins kind of were louder there. But, but don't get cocky, anybody, because this could all turn around in the heat of the battle. <laughs> and besides, this is not just a war against the other side of the room. This is a war against space and time. <laughs> so I, I've, I've been touring everywhere. I've, just recently, I've been in Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Even in Canada, they were louder than you. <laughs> I think last night in Portland, Maine, they were louder than you. So, <laughs> just, just saying, all right. So trombones, are we ready to destroy these violins? Yeah! Violins, are we ready to decimate the trombone? Yeah! Everyone, are we ready to fuck up Portland? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this song is called, There's Not a Step We Can Take that does not bring us closer.
right. Any songs anyone really wants to hear? Two bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. Yeah. Train tracks. Graveyard. Oh, train tracks. Actually, I was mostly asking to stall so I could decide what I wanted to play. I was kind of hoping someone would ask for this song I wrote not too long ago. Oh, we all play that. <laughs> People request it pretty often, though. Yeah. It's called Free Bird. Yeah! Free Bird! Woo! Yeah, you know it then. Play us the song nobody requests. Um, would you like to hear my song called Free Bird? Yeah! Normally, this is the wrong answer, but. Stupid songs about animals. You guys probably know a song that goes. But we're not gonna do that. But I wanna tell a story. Some of you probably do know this story already because this story originates in Boston. Um, but at the end of last year, um, my my twin sister and I <laughs> We were asked to be the musical guests at an event called the Ig Nobel Prize Ceremony. Woo! I'm assuming, do mo most of you know what this is? Does anyone not know what this is, the Ig Nobel Prize Ceremony? It's, don't be shy. Really, wow, everyone knows. It's really strange going around the world and talking about this. Like, most cities, like two or three people will raise their hands. And then, like, Canberra, Australia. The entire room was like, yeah, yeah, we know about that. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, the Ig Nobel Prize ceremony is this thing they do every year at Harvard where they get all, it's a very fancy and ridiculous thing that they get all these real Nobel laureates on stage, like dozens of them, handing out chintzy looking prizes to real scientific research teams that have been flown in from all around the world who have done the most ridiculous sounding research you've ever heard of. <laughs> Like, like last year, one of the winners perfected a method of collecting samples of whale mucus um, <laughs> by utilizing remote control helicopters. <laughs> and the other team that stood out to me was this, they, they did an exhaustive study on the practice of fellatio among, 
among fruit bats. <laughs> and I mean, it was impressive because they, I don't know, I, I confess, they, they, they came up with a lot of conclusions that I had neglected in my own independent research. <laughs> So, anyway, my, my, my sister and I, we were supposed to be the musical guests at this event, but I was the one that had to go to the really long, boring rehearsal. <laughs> Anyone here that was involved in this? <laughs> Sorry. The rehearsal was really long and boring. And while I was there, I learned two things about my life and the performance and stuff. I learned that I didn't want to be at this rehearsal and I was really bored. <laughs> And I also learned by watching the event kind of evolving in front of me that if we showed up and played our stupid song about elephants like we were planning, it wasn't going to be super awesome, you know? <laughs> it wouldn't, wouldn't totally suck, but it wasn't going to rule. So, oh, very important. I, uh, every year they have a different theme, and the theme of la last year's was bacteria. And so, in my boredom at this rehearsal, I threw together, oh, with the aid of a few um, also bored scientists, <laughs> I, I threw together this original composition, which I very much hope you'll enjoy. <laughs> Elephant. Oh, shh. <Jesus> <laughs> E. coli and listeria. listeria Salmonella, streptococcus Everyone beware There are microbes in the air Bacteria, Bacteria. Don't eat the shellfish in the cafeteria Bacteria. And wash your hands whenever you touch money, poop, or worms Got to kill those nasty germs My best friend got clapped She died Another girl got thrushed inside But that's not all the things that Some get bloody lungs, some people get ulcers, some just get the rise. <laughs> or an undocumented and extremely malignant pathogen from <laughs> Siberia. Siberia. <laughs> or Nigeria. Or diphtheria. diphtheria, botulism, whooping cough, or catch bubonic plague. Golly germs are such a drag. Bacteria, bacteria. they all meet these criteria. They're deadly, bad, and gross. Bacteria, bacteria. we're all potential my solstice song in Boston before? It must have been a concert with only you there. <laughs> this song is... Well, I was touring right around the solstice, around, and, and I, I, I wanted to have a song and, you know, to go solstice caroling. <laughs> but I couldn't find any on the internet. Well, I mean, they sucked. So I wrote this song, and I learned while writing it why no one writes solstice songs. It's hard to write a song that somehow applies to such radically different days. So anyway, you're welcome to go solstice caroling like this. I forget what key it's in. G. Huh? G? Uh, that's, that's, actually, that's what I'm trying. <laughs> Longest night <laughs> Shortest night 
Glass all do a pagan life tree in the living room. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the apparent position of the sun is at its northernmost extreme, or at its southernmost extreme. <laughs> Like Orpheus, 
actually, before, yeah, before I do the covers, I actually want to do. Are there any other songs that anyone would like to hear annihilated on an accordion right now? <laughs> In the Cotta Vida. <laughs> I'm thinking of um, La Vida Loca, sorry. <laughs> yesterday and God, God Save the Queen yesterday, which makes it not seem so spontaneous. Because, huh? I don't know the germ. <laughs> Girls just want to have fun.
song by a Czech accordionist who's a friend of mine named Jana Bebrova um, and she's amazing and I think I'm weirding her out by translating her songs into English and <laughs> singing them around the world so <laughs> if you like her um, send me an email and I'll send you a link to her stuff she sings better than I do <laughs> and the songs are prettier in Czech um, the this, this song for example uh, it's called Burt Goulash, except now it's just Pork Goulash. <laughs>
also plays all the right notes mostly. So the next thing is kind of a little bit, a little bit stupid maybe. Any of you familiar with the song I was involved with um, called Hockey Star? Yeah. 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 Four of you, okay. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to play a game. Oh no. <laughs> I want us all to imagine that we live in an alternate universe where this song, Hockey Star, was insanely popular in the 90s. <laughs> and it's the kind of song that like, you've heard it a billion times. You, 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 you might love it, you, you probably hate it, but you know the words, and you kind of love it. <laughs> and, and probably the only reason you're even here tonight is because someone was like, you know, I heard that the hockey star guy is playing this cheap concert at Berkeley. And you're like, no. <laughs> and you wander in and instead there's this jerk with an accordion. <laughs> and what is this? Now imagine then that at some point the unmistakable opening chords to hockey star are heard. stupid chorus because who doesn't know the chorus to Hockey Star? Everybody knows it goes, my hair is a very, very long hair. It's short and long, 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 short and long. My hair is a very, very long hair. It's short and long. Long, long, short, and long. <laughs> Complicated. <laughs> so, so, you also, I'm sure, remember the really annoying thing that would always happen if that song ever came on in the clubs? You know? <laughs> all the girls would sing the one thing, and all the guys would think, sing the one thing. Because the song kind of is the quintessential 90s techno song. <laughs> it so perfectly embodies the two main characters of any 90s techno song. There's the sort of floaty, sexy, reverbed out disco lady. Whoa, whoa, hey! That, that, that kind of lady. And then, then you also have her, her counterpart in the universe, the aggressive, cool, where the fuck is an accent like that even from Euro trash dude. now, so feel free to sing whatever part you want. <laughs> or both. If someone were to play that song. I, I, I just wanted to play part of it now to paint a picture of an alternate universe so that you can be more happy about the universe in which you actually live. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go play a song on the piano. when there's a piano at, at a venue because I'll probably play it but I never practice <laughs> <laughs> You never ever stuck around 
and now that you're to read these strands of paper strewn across the floor towards an open
So wonderful. And I, I really, really, really want to thank Holly and everyone in Human Wine for being fucking amazing and for doing this. awkward part of the show. I keep trying to make this speech that doesn't make any sense, but um, I, I, I've been doing this weird job for about almost 13 years, of, like running around the world and screaming at people and playing the accordion, and it's, it's kind of the most awesome thing I could ever imagine, um, and I'm going to be taking a break, not because I don't, I'm tired of it at all, just, but because Something, uh, I, 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 I've told myself I'm going to do it, and it, and it kind of makes sense in a weird way. So it's going it's to be a little while before I'm back this way. And before I go, I, I just, I want to thank all of you for supporting me tonight and for supporting me all these many years and doing this. I, um, I hope to see you again on the other side. Um, I... If there's one thing that doing this for so long has made me increasingly more and more aware of, it's, I think maybe I, I took it for granted more early on, but now I realize what a crazy blessing it is. Uh, and that, that you're here because doing what I've been doing for the last hour would be pretty lonely and weird without you guys. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go everywhere I've ever been in the world and then also about 10 extra countries I've never been to um, between now and November 11th <laughs> when I'm going to take my break. Um, if any of you happen to be in Seattle on the 11th of November, I hear it's going to be a good concert. <laughs> <laughs> and again I ask, who would like to sing a drinking song? <laughs> When the glass is full, drink up, drink up. It occurs to me that maybe most of you in the room know the words and some of you might feel awkward that you don't. I just want to point out one very important thing that applies definitely to the song and probably also applies to most situations in life. <laughs> if you don't know the words, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just sing them loudly. <laughs> Drink up. This may be the last time we see this cup. If God wanted us so bad, he knocked the glass over. So I think it's we drink up. supposed to be twice as loud. A toast to men. A girl I once loved. Oh Lord, why do things have to die? show in Boston for quite some time. Index finger. 
and point it in the air. Hi, Amir. No, no lazy fingers, proud, erect fingers. And look up at your finger. Not my finger, your finger. As though your finger were the only thing in the world. And while we're looking to our fingers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin in circles. <laughs> 11 times. And by this very simple, very effective, and extremely dangerous economical method, we're all gonna get very fucked very fast. On your marks. Get set. Fingers in the air. Eyes upon our fingers. Are we ready? Side to side like a bunch of Boston trucks. <laughs>